Oh, hello everyone. Um, um, there was a bit of an internet issue, but I think that I am back live. Um, welcome everyone. It is our final celebration Sunday. This is the final Sunday of celebration. This is the final Sunday of our series. So I will be sharing one last project using the watermelon wonder and this or the watercolor melon <laughs> stamp set and this is the beautiful card we're making and we're actually going to use a really fun technique to stamp all of our um, little watermelon elements here so um, stick around for that like I said this is our very last celebration Sunday this is also the last time I'm going to be live this month I won't be able to go live on Wednesday we have some family things going on so I won't be able to go live on Wednesday so this is my final my final call this is my final Facebook live of celebration so if you have not gotten everything out of here you only have until Thursday to get it so if you have not taken advantage of everything out of here make sure that you you do that before Thursday we also have um, some other celebration products that you can choose from from our annual and our mini catalog um, but Thursday is the last day to earn anything. Thursday is also the very last day to take advantage of the um, starter kit special, which you'll get the, um, when you join, you can choose either the glass mat or you can choose extra product. The glass mat includes this amazing glass mat that I've been using for the last few months. It's incredible. It improves your stamping. There's so many techniques you can do on it. Um, it also comes with the, the silicone mat and the cleaning cloth. And we're going to use the silicone mat today, and I'm going to show you some fun things that you can do with that. Um, if you don't want the glass mat studio, that's okay. You can um, choose um, product as your free option. So you get an additional $30 in product during celebration. The last day is Thursday. And you guys, don't wait until the last day because sometimes there are issues and um, you don't want to wait to to sign up because um do it before thursday that's all i'm gonna say um march is paper pumpkin the subscription period is open you have until march 10th to get this one there's going to be an additional free stamp set in this one um so i'm really excited about that you're going to get two stamp sets you're going to get nine cards three each of three designs some pre-cut vellum and wood embellishments that sounds fun um coordinates with the meandering meadow suite so that's really really fun and it's going to be a garden green stampin spot so it's going to be a gorgeous kit i mean we have a little sneak peek here the dies that coordinate with january february and march's kit i believe are still available i didn't look it up this morning but i have not heard that they have sold out so um i think they're still available all right if you are shopping my online store between now and thursday make sure you use this host code this is my february host code i'll have a new host code march 1st and all the details on everything going on in march will be on my blog on March 1st um, if your order is over 150 don't use the host code because you're gonna get stamping rewards on that All right this is what we're making today we are using the watercolor melon stamp set this is such a cute little stamp set and it's one of our distinctive stamp sets which means it's going to stamp those um, lighter and dark areas kind of all on its own and um, it just gives that wonderful shading without any extra work from you um, so this is a really good one to have. This one doesn't have any greetings, as you can see. So I'm actually using um, the Sending Smiles stamp set. We're going to um, kind of piece together our own greeting. So I'm going to do a card to say. And then I'm using, oh, I don't know if I have them here. Um, I'm using, here they are, the mini alphabet dies. These are in our mini catalog. These are fantastic. I you have used these a ton, and I really hope these carry over because this is such a great size. And so we're going to use that too. So that's going to be... The products and so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna start with our stamping because I want to show you a really fun technique that we're gonna do with the stamping so we're gonna use a really fancy tool to do our stamping today we're gonna to use baby wipes all right let me pull out I have a piece of paper here that's just basic white I'm gonna pull out my little silicone mat this mat comes with the um, the what is this thing called the glass mat <laughs> Holy moly. And you can see that I've, I'm using those little squares. These actually hold ink spots, or you can put um, like ink in here to watercolor with them. You can put those in here. I am, am using them to hold my little tiny pieces for this card so we don't lose them. So that's a great tip to use for, for these. So I'm just going to pull this in because I'm going to stack my baby wipes on top of this. Um, you can do it right on the glass mat. It's not going to hurt the glass mat, but um, I want to be able to reuse these later after the video. I want to be able to stamp a few more. So I'm going to... Um, keep them on my silicone mat so I can just move my silicone mat out of the way and move it so I'm just gonna stack 
maybe two or three baby wipes together. So I'm just fold it up one. We're going to do another one. Now, when you get baby wipes for techniques, for Stampin' Techniques, do not spend a lot on baby wipes. I have found that the cheaper the baby wipe, um, the better these techniques work. So go for those um, bargain baby wipes. Okay, don't spend a lot of money and don't get the scented ones. The scented ones, I mean, I don't think that they affect your project, um, but I don't, I don't like the scents. <laughs> so I guess if you like them, go ahead and get them. So I'm making two different stacks of two baby wipes each. Now you can do three baby wipes, four baby wipes. You can do as many baby wipes as you want, but we're just going to use um, two each. So I have two different stacks right here on my silicone mat. Okay. All right. Let me close up my baby wipes. I'll put those aside. Just drop them on the floor for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some two-toned um, colors on here. So let's do, so let's get some marine inkers. I couldn't find them at first. So for our melon pieces, I'm going to use Poppy Parade and Melon Mambo. And I am just going to drop some drops right onto my baby wipes. And what we're doing is we're kind of making our own custom ink pad. So I'm going to drop some on there. And then I'm going to do some Poppy Parade. I'm going to just put those around too. And well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so now we're ready. Let's stamp our melon pieces. So for this one, I'm going to use the triangle piece that has like the little bite taken out and then the regular one. So you're just going to kind of ink this up, just move it around all over that baby wipe. It's going to kind of all bleed together. You can see how the colors are just all bleeding together. And we're going to bring this on here, leave enough room for the rind, and we're going to stamp this down. And I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. I think it is. You can see some pink spots over here. You can see some red spots. But it's just going to give you lots and lots of variation of color in these. And I'm going to stamp it one more time. Now, you can use these over and over again, which is what which is what I'm going to do after the video. So there's another one. So you can see it's a little bit different. We have more pink on this side, more red on this side. So you can just see that amazing variation in that color. Okay, let's stamp one with our um, with our little bite, our bite piece. So I'm just kind of bouncing it around wherever. And we're going to stamp this one. Very cute. And so lots of like poppy parade variation on top, some melon mambo on the bottom. So lots of just fun, different variation with these, with this baby wipe. Okay. Now for the, the other one, we're going to do greens. We're going to do granny apple green and lemon lime twist. Now, if you wanted, um, <clears throat> a bigger variation of color, you can do like lemon lime twist and garden green. That would give you a good variation of color. Um, so that was Granny Apple Green. Now we're going to do Lemon Line Twist. I'm sticking with colors in the same color groups. We're using all some of the same ones from the brights. And so some Lemon Line Twist. Here we go. All right. So I just have those on there. And then I'm going to come in with my, my big watermelon stamp. And I'm just going to kind of pounce that around. You want to just kind of pounce them around just to get the the colors to kind of bleed into each other. And then we'll stamp this down. This is a big one. Now you can see even with these big stamps, I am not using my um, my paper piercing pad. And um, that's because with the glass mat, I don't need it anymore. So you can see lots of lighter colors down here. That's the lemon lime twist, some darker granny apple green over there. So really, really pretty. And you can see the difference that I got here. I used a lot more um, granny apple green than I did lemon lime twist. So this one's a lot darker. So I'm going to... I'm going to add just a little bit more granny apple green because I kind of like the darker watermelon. So I'm going to add a little bit more granny apple green to this. And we'll stamp this one again. And I'll be able to make lots of watermelon cards with all of these. Okay, perfect. Make sure that you stamp this one close to the edge because we have a punch that's going to punch this right out. I don't know if you guys know that, but this, this big watermelon piece actually coordinates with a punch. Very cute. Look at that amazing texture. And I just love it. All right. So let's bring in our rind piece, and we're going to put the rind on these pieces. So just kind of line that up on the bottom, and it's going to give, again, those light and dark shades. Oh, so cute. I just love this. Very cute. Look at how cute those are. I just love it. And you're just getting so much of that color variation with that. Okay, now I'm just going to pick this up. I'm going to move it out of the way. We're going to bring it back for our little tiny pieces, but... um. 
gonna try to move some of these out of the way without getting ink everywhere. Um, but I'm gonna use those again after the video. I'll just stamp a bunch more watermelons just so I have them ready to go. But isn't that adorable? Just that color variation is so good. All right, now before we um, before we start cutting things out, I'm gonna grab my black memento. We're gonna add some seeds. So I'm using the stamp with the little three seeds. There's also one that just has one seed if you wanna be a little bit more sporadic with your seeds. Um, so I'm gonna add just a few up here. Just kind of like that. And then on these, we're just gonna add just a few on these as well. It's so just a few seeds. You can do as little or as many as you want. Just a few little watermelon seeds. All right, one more thing to stamp and then we'll start cutting everything out. So I have Melon Mambo and we're just gonna stamp a card to say, the stamp says a card to say hello, but we're actually gonna mask off the hello part. So um, because I can see right through my stamp, I'm just gonna ink up a card to say. Now because we're cutting this off anyway, if you inked up the hello, it wouldn't really matter. But I wanna make sure that I just stamp this right on the, the edge of my paper. So I just wanna make sure that I get just the part that says a card to say. There we go, right down on the bottom. Um, that sending, what is it called? Sending Smiles stamp set with this greeting is a fantastic stamp set and it has dies that corny with it. Okay, now I told you that there's a punch that punches these out. This is the Modern Oval Punch. This um, was in our holiday catalog, but it actually carried over. Now, currently this punch is unavailable, but it is due back um, kind of the beginning to middle of March. So grab this celebration set now because you can only earn the celebration set through February 29th. So grab the celebration set now and then um, grab the punch in March when it becomes available again. Now, so this one will punch out this, but this stamp set as well, it will also punch out this watermelon too, like this half piece here. So the punch fits perfectly with those as well. So you can do that. And then all you have to do is cut the, cut the straight edge of the watermelon there. I hope that makes sense. So you're gonna be able to punch out two of the, two of the watermelon pieces in here. Okay, so we have that. And then we're gonna cut out one of these. Now this one doesn't have a punch, so you do have to fussy cut, but they're triangles. They're not too hard to fussy cut. I'm gonna just cut this off. So very, very cute. Look at how, and this card will come together so quickly. And I just love all the color variation in this, in those stamped images. And I know on video, it's probably a little bit harder to see that color variation, but um, trust me, it's there and it's super, super um, noticeable. All right, let's cut out this one too. You wanna cut out the one with the little bite taken out of two. So these are really quick to cut out. Um, like I said, it's just a triangle and the, the edges of the watermelon are real kind of curvy and, and um, they're not straight. So you don't have to worry about being super straight with your fussy cutting. You can really just kind of be real loose and and carefree about it. Okay, now let's cut out this, and I'm gonna grab my my big paper scissors. Normally I think I would use a paper trimmer, but for the video, so I'm just gonna cut this out nice and straight along the top, and then we'll just cut the sides right up against the words. So we're just cutting this out to the height and the width of the, of the greeting, okay? So we have all of our stamped pieces ready to go. Let me move these trash pieces out of the way, move my scissors out of the way. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of our card pieces here. I'm gonna move this over here. All right, so we have a card base. Um, this one is 11 by four and a quarter and I scored it at four at five and a half. And this is Granny Apple Green. And then I have a piece of Melon Mambo, which, and let me measure this real quick. This is two and a half. This is two and a half by five and a quarter and I have embossed this with the Fern embossing folder. Isn't that so pretty, Melon Mambo? So um, this is gonna go right onto our card. And then I have another piece, I have a piece of DSP that is three by four and a half. And this is from our Brights DSP. Um, this is in our annual catalog and just like basic patterns that come in all of our color groups. So we're gonna glue adhere all those together like that. Another piece that I have, I just have a stylish circle um, die that I have die cut with white. So we're gonna set those aside. So let's go ahead and start adhering these down to our card base. So I'm gonna use some Stampin' Seal for my embossed piece. This is just gonna go 
right in the middle you're just going to get a little bit of a border on the top and the bottom it's so pretty and it just adds that little bit of texture peeking out the top and the bottom all right dimensionals for my dsp piece so i'm going to grab just a few of these and we'll stick these on just like that so once you get all the stamping done and all the fussy cutting done the card actually comes together very very quickly this is a good one to mass produce for the summer this would be a good um teacher gift for the end of the year give them a bunch of these little summer watermelon cards that'd be fantastic okay let's i'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to bring in our circle this is what we're going to build everything on so let's start with our our big watermelon he's going to go up on dimensionals so we'll put a couple here kind of in the middle it's going to hang off a little bit on the edge so don't put too many and i love like the color variation of here for more lemon lime twist opposed to the granny apple green here. Very, very fun. So you're going to get different looks every time you stamp. It's just going to go off to the side right there. We're going to have um, the, the one with the bite. We're just going to stick kind of off to the side here. And then I'm going to stick a dimensional right on the circle here. And we're going to put the, the one with the, just the triangle one right over that. Just like that. So cute, right? It's coming together. All right, let me bring back my silicone mat with all of my, my little pieces on here. So I have already die cut all of my my letters for my, my word, for my word hello. And I have die cut them with an adhesive sheet on the back. So they are basically just little stickers now. And then I have three hearts that I die cut with... Um, Oh man, what is the name of it? It has the ma it's the mailbox one <laughs> in the mini catalog. I can't remember the name of it. It's listed in the in the supplies though. And um I cut these out of petal pink glimmer paper, which is in our online exclusives. It's the three color glimmer paper. So I have three different hearts here in the petal pink glimmer paper. So let's start with our our hello because that is going to kind of um anchor where every everything else is gonna go. Okay, so I have my take your pick tool, and these are the new crafters attachments. There is this little, like, fish hook looking one, or dental tool looking one, and I was like, what the heck do I do with that? But it is actually perfect for pulling off, it's not going to do it now, but there we go. It's actually perfect for pulling off those backings of the adhesive sheets. Okay, so I'm going to start with my O. I'm going to go backwards with this word. So we're going to do O. Um... And that's going to just make sure that we don't run out of room this way. I have plenty of room on the, the left, but not unlimited room on the right. So I'm going to start with, with the end of the word. And we're just going to work over that way. Okay. And this is just so much, you just kind of poke it with the, the tool and it just kind of pulls it right off. So grab that, these crafters tips, they are fantastic, especially for these little letters. And using the adhesive sheets on these is really helpful because otherwise they're kind of a pain to, to adhere down. So grab those adhesive sheets, put them on the back of your cardstock before you die cut them. And then um, you can, you'll be ready to go. I actually have at my desk, and I'll show you in just a second, let me get this H on. I actually have a bunch of these letters all die cut. So we have hello there. And I keep them, let's see where's my little bag? Of course, here it is. And I keep them all um, in here. I have a bunch of these, those little petal pink hearts. I use those a ton too. But they're all die cut on adhesive sheets. And I've been die cutting especially out of the black. So I have all these letters. And so really when, when I need a word, I just pull these out and I can just spell anything I want. So keep all those letters. You can die cut individual letters. But um, I've just been I've been die cutting a bunch of letters at once and then you can make them as spell whatever you want to spell. All right, there is our hello. Now for this part, the card to say I am gonna put this on with dimensionals, but I'm going to have to just cut just a little strip of dimensionals. So I'm gonna do that on the the edge right here. So we just have this skinny little dimensional piece, and we'll just stick that onto our the back of our greeting. We can peel that off. And we're ready to go. And this goes right above that greeting. Perfect. Isn't that adorable? Such a cute little element. You could use this for a tag. You can do this for anything. Such a cute little element. Okay, let's flip it over. We're going to put some adhesive on the back of this. Just a little bit of our dry adhesive on the back. And I'm going to use 
This is our Lemon Lime Twist ribbon. This is part of the Ribbon Duo Pack. In the annual catalog, it comes with a petal pink stripe as well. And so I am just going to stick this on here. I'm going to stick it into that adhesive, and we're just going to kind of weave this back and forth. And so once and then twice and go this way. Just like that. And then I'm just going to trim this off. We'll trim the ends a little bit more in a second. I'm going to hold this all down with some dimensionals. And I'm going to use these end pieces here. Just right over. Just like that. And we're going to hold them all in place. I'm going to peel these off. So they're ready to go. And let's pull back in our card. And this goes right on top. Just like that. Isn't that fun? All right, let's trim these off just a little bit. We don't need them to overhang quite that much. Move that out of the way. Okay, almost done. We're going to add those little hearts, and I'm going to use some glue. We're going to put one down here. We're going to put a couple up here. It's probably a slightly larger dot. All right, I'm going to grab my take or pick tool for this. Um, these little hearts, some of the little ones are kind of small, so by picking them up with the, the putty end, you can really just kind of pick and place down into your glue. Easy peasy. And you can cut these out on adhesive sheets too if you want. But those are, um, they add a lot. And it's a it's a different kind of pink, so it really kind of pops off that page. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. Now, um, I didn't add any rhinestones or any other little gems like that. I thought the glitter from those hearts was sufficient, but you could always add something else if you wanted to. All right, guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this fun little technique with the baby wipes. Um, if you um, want to earn this watercolor melon stamp set for free, remember you only have until Thursday to do that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're shopping my online store, please use this host code until Thursday. I have a brand new host code coming out on Friday. If you're watching this on Facebook, please share this with your crafty friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be back not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. So we have a little bit of a break and then um, I'll be back. Um, I'll be back in March. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys for this wonderful um, Celebration Sunday series. I've had so much fun and I hope you guys have loved these projects. Um, thank you again. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.